Attorney Gabriel Godinez went before the Board of Supervisors Tuesday afternoon with a request on behalf of his six clients. We request that the extension be granted. Specifically, he asked supervisors to grant the pot shops he's representing an extension to stay open an additional year. Last year, the board allowed 29 grandfathered in shops to operate until May 24th of this year, but Godina said the six shops he represents need more time to recoup more than $200,000 in funds due to what he calls new regulations. They had one year then to recoup those capital investments. But Supervisor Zach Scrivener rejected the calls for an extension. After hearing the extension request for one of the shops, West Coast Healing, Scrivener said the shop already had enough time to recoup the funds. He pointed out the ban was implemented on November 24, 2017 and said enough time has passed. He also noted the amount of money in question is much less than $200,000. He says it's closer to $5,000 because much of the dispensary improvements were spent after the ban was implemented. My line of thinking is that the submitted amount of $5,171.55 for capital improvements before the 11-24-17 Band-Aid, which is what we're, we're considering, um, is, is such a, a small amount that there has been ample time for the applicant to recoup that investment during the one-year period since we put the ban in place. Scrivener then went a step further, making a motion that the West Coast Healing Shop not be granted an extension and must close within 10 days. The motion is approved, four eyes, one absent. The board voted unanimously to approve the motion. Godinez then withdrew the additional extension request for the five other shops. It was a slap in the face. To where no, not only do you get the you don't get the six months, nor do you get the 18 months, you have to be out in 10 days. The county takes the approach, we don't want anything. We just want to push you away, and then that now we have problems. Godina says he will take this to court. In Studio A, Tom Wallace, 17 News.